So let's walk over here and start sampling some food. Say, Paul, if that sequoia was a cedar tree, a red cedar, how, how would that roadie be, be doing? Would it be doing fine? Fine. Would it? Look, look, in, look in the woods. You see all those cedars out there? You see those western red cedars in my woods back there? Right, right, right here in my woods, right up front of you, those yes. smaller trees, that's all western red cedars. Yes. If you look at the ground below, Salal is growing great under them. Yeah. And so they told you in school, you can't use cedar. That'll kill your ground. That's toxic. Are you following me? Yeah. That's what you're told. But in the summertime, when it gets hot, they flag, I mean the interior needles turn brown more than any conifer in the woods because they're very shallow rooted, roots at the surface. And all that stuff falls in the ground and no one rakes up and hauls it off. And everything around is very green, doing quite well. Excuse me, excuse me. So I keep coming to this thing in nature and says, and, and what I'm getting in the spirit is to see the tannic acid in the cedar by the time it gets to the roots of the composting process, isn't there anymore. It may hit the ground toxic, but through the composting process, it's been changed. And all that's dealt with. Because the creator who made all this stuff, you know, I asked the creator about that. Someone told me you can't use you know, walnut or cedar or pine. So I asked the creator, he has a sense of humor. You know what he told me? I have no landfill somewhere off the universe where I'm taking that stuff you can't use. I just started busting up. I have no landfill somewhere off in the universe. I'm taking that stuff you can't use. All that falls in the ground, breaks down, turns into compost, and it's going great. Duh! It's just so fun. And so he's so cool because I'm a slow learner. He had a tree service bring me an entire truckload of walnut wood chips. We're talking walnut wood chips, 100%. And they dumped it in a place to swim, which is a desert, and it was in August. So I have a four and a, four and a half foot raised bed. Are you following me? raised bed, you know, a truckload. Somehow a wall that went through the chipper didn't break and starts growing in, a, in August out of the top of this four and a half foot raised bed of nothing but walnut chips. And I says, God, you have my attention. There's no water happening here and there's no soil. And this is nothing but toxic wall that nothing grows in. And this is bright green and it's not yellow. In October, it was three feet tall totally gorgeous. And my brother dug it out, it had three, three feet of roots. He went and planted a good tree. And it happened in a pile of wood chips. There were walnut with no water. Four and a half foot raised bed that was really dry. Just, so I, I started to get it like, okay, I get it. This is a growing material. This is in my face. I can't argue with it. So I always encourage you to go to nature and watch what it does. And then just adjust your thinking because you got lied to. We're going to walk over here down to the corner because we're going to get some asparagus. Hey, Paul. Yes. Live real quick. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> as long as I can get signal. Oh. When did you cover the parking lot with people? Where can you see it? This was, this is, um, I'll tell you what happened. This, this used, to, used to be grass, remember? Yeah. And, and it was really a challenge because in the wintertime it got really wet. And, and, and people coming here were parking, it was getting big grooves in it, and I had to keep filling it, you know, and then having to mow it. And, you know, I thought, you know, I'm going to cover the wood chips. And here's what's so cool about the wood chips. Is that, you see, it's, it's a very nice surface to drive and walk on. You see, when you walk on these wood chips, you see traffic is, happens here all the time, people driving. You notice when you walk on it, how buoyant it is? It's not, yeah. it's not packed. And here's what's so cool about this space. I want you to look at this space. At any point in time, things become a challenge. I can turn this into one awesome community garden like that and stuff will grow instantly because while this is laying on the ground, this is an upgrade. Every day it's getting richer. I love it. It's just, I'm, I'm telling you, nature is so awesome. It's just so incredible. You know, you, if you walk through, you'll see little weeds growing, bright green, how they can be. No one planted them. They just blew in and they're growing great because they can. And in the meantime, it's a great, great parking place. There's no mud. Here's the thing that's so, these farmers, when they came at, in, in the last win, that winter, the, the, they kept saying to me, how come you don't have mud? Because their whole farm's all mud. And I says, well, in nature, there's no mud. Are you following me? In nature, there's no mud. Anywhere in nature, whether you're growing on, walking on prairies or forest, there's no mud. Are you hearing me? 
and we keep thinking mud is normal. Are you hearing me? We think mud is normal, but it's not. It's not natural. And it's so fun. You, you, you'll see today as you're walking around through my garden stuff, your, your shoes will be totally clean. No mud, because there isn't any, which is just convenient. It's nice not being in mud. Mud's so fun. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I've, I've got, I have a real challenge happening here. You see how all my trees are, are completely defoliated? There's no leaves on them? Mm -hmm. For example, you see that cherry tree right over there past the cars, straight ahead? You see how full the leaves are on that yes. compared to this? Mm -hmm. Well, I got deer. You see, I used to have a really good dog, and we had to put her down. Mm -hmm. And so I have, I have deer now coming, you know, defoliating all my trees. Oh. And... Those are from woodpeckers who didn't find anything to eat and really? worked hard for nothing. Oh my. You, you can see they're all over the place here, you know, I and, and well. yeah, and uh, but they don't, they, they, they don't, they don't hurt the trees, eh, because the trees are well. Oh. My dog was a, a chocolate Labrador uh -huh. and she was 16 years old wow. and she didn't have one gray hair. Oh. Totally gorgeous, shiny coat because she ate live food out of my garden. She was so healthy so far, but her legs are failing and she just... Are you just keep inviting us to live here? What's that? <laughs> just keep inviting us to all live here. <laughs> You're here today because you can go home and do this. Okay. This can be done anywhere in the world. And this is why you're here. I'm showing you this can be done okay. anywhere in the world. Because it's simple. Okay. You know, and it's, just, it's, so, it's so easy. But the benefits, you see, dogs were never... For 6,000 years, there's no such thing as dog food. Do you hear me? Dog food is a new thing. You know what's sad today? Mm -hmm. Is that dogs are getting cancer. Because they're eating the same kind of junk food we are. Oh, no. Cancer is unnatural. What is this? What's that? What are these? These are apples. Apples. Oh. And you can see all the little apples on there? Yes. I was and I want you to notice the numbers. How many? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my baby. baby apples. Oh. Baby apples. That's how they start as babies as they grow. Oh. You're going to see all the way, as we walk through this, you're going to see abundance. It's going to blow you away. And, and you know what? They tell you that, um, here's the irony. You, know, you see my trees are pruned very open. Yeah. You've never come to an orchard where you see trees so open. They're usually very full. You know my trees are pruned open? I'm trying to reduce the amount of fruit I get. Did you hear me? I'm trying. I'm making an effort. I'm working hard to get less. <laughs> And it's not working. I'm failing. I'm telling you, this abundance is a major challenge. <laughs> it's so fun. So, Paul, are you looking for a new dog? Or what's yeah, I'm looking for a new dog. We have a dog. She's a beautiful dog. We love her, but she's a, but she's a um, retriever. And she's social. And she wants to be everybody's friend. But my Labrador, she was a, an alpha. And this is her home. Anything else coming here was not welcome. And she was very effective. So we need to find a good dog. We had a, we had a golden lab a golden Labrador before it was good, but um, so I'm looking for another good Labrador. It'd be great. Did your dog eat dog food ever? Or no, just live, food? live food out of the garden. That was it. That's eggs it. Also, right? What's that? Eggs. Yeah. Eggs are the most complete whole food that exists. And my chickens, when you see them today, they have they're, they're black chickens. But you look in the if there's not much sun, but you'll see in the light. They have an effervescent blue sh sheen yes. shining off them because they're so healthy. Mm -hmm. My chickens are eating far better than most people. <laughs> I'm being honest. All people, yeah. I mean, you look at this, you, you, you're going to eat these, these lamb's quarters over here. You're going to see how po This is their daily food. And so they, they are so, and, and see my eggs, he, can, he came here once and he cracked one in a dish and he tried to break it. And, and, and he couldn't break the yolk because it was so, so potent and it stood up and it's dark orange, it's not yellow. And they're just amazing. An egg is the most complete whole food that exists. It has everything you need, it's such powerful food. And I eat half a dozen a day because there's no cholesterol in them, not going to hurt you. Cholesterol is not in natural eggs, they're only in, in, in the corrupted ones. God didn't put cholesterol in eggs. It's just, see, all the stuff that's wrong with our food wasn't made that way. It's by, by, you know, by corruption. Yeah, that's so good. You see, in Europe, no one refrigerates eggs. Oh. No one. They're all left out. Oh. But in America, because we got lied to better, 
we refrigerate them. You know why we refrigerate them? Because they got washed. If you look in nature, before a chicken sits on her eggs, before a chicken sits on the egg, she lays 10 or 12. That took at least 10 to 12 days. And it's hot summer and there's no refrigeration and they're very fine. You see, there's a coating on eggs the Creator made to protect it from breaking down and being disturbed. And when you wash them, you take that coating off and they won't last. I have eggs sitting in, on my shelf for a month out in the open and they're fine because they have a protective coating. It's just awesome. I always go back to the beginning. The Creator did not issue Adam and Eve a stove and refrigerator. <laughs> You're laughing, but I'm being very real. There's nothing here without the refrigerator. You don't have food. <laughs> you see, nothing in nature eats dead food except humans. So we go to the store and buy dead food and put it in the refrigerator and let it die more and then cook it and kill all the enzymes and think we're smart. I mean, if you tried to destroy your food, you couldn't be any more effective than what we do. If you try to destroy it. <laughs> 